Hello everybody! Uh, in today's video I want to show you how we eat clean, how we eat healthy while on the road. We are two days away from going on an epic three-week road trip. And I've asked you guys if you want to know how we eat when we travel and I figured I'll start with a video showing you how I prepare what I take with me on a road trip. Now, of course, we're going to go to restaurants as well. We're going to enjoy whatever the province that we're going to has to offer. But for the most part, for the day to day, we are going to be cooking on our own. Number one, to save money. Number two, to be healthier. And number three, to make things easier because else you're just chasing a place to get food and not enjoying the scenery and not going too much to the beach because as soon as you're hungry, you kind of have to leave the beach. But if you can take your kitchen, your like travel kitchen with you, then you can prepare stuff and you can go out without having to stop your activity to go chase food, but rather take your food with you. Um, so obviously number one would be a cooler. Um, this cooler is going to be in the car and the way we keep things cool in there and the way we use it as a fridge, we always buy ice cubes. If you're going camping, you can't take, uh, unfortunately, the, you know, the reusable ice block thingies that you put in the freezer because I won't have a freezer to refreeze them. Um, so when we do have freezers, what we do is we buy bottled water and then freeze the water and then put it in here because then after that we can drink the water. But if we don't have uh, access to a freezer, we just buy frozen, ice. we just buy ice and we put it in here and that's how we keep milk and cheese and ham and stuff like that cool inside the cooler. I also have this plastic egg case because we love having eggs when we're on the road, um, but having a carton egg um, holder thing here in the, in the cooler is not the best, especially because we're using ice to keep it cool, which is wet and then the the cardboard just gets wet and everything breaks and I uh, like trust me you're gonna want to get one of these so up uh, other than that I have a gas cooker grill thing and a plug-in induction stove um, I try to use this more than the gas because the gas you have to buy more gas and more gas and more gas but this one you can just plug in most camping sites have a plug so that way you can save on the gas and you can just use the induction um, stove for cooking. But I also always like to have a um, gas stove as a backup because if you don't have electricity, how else are you gonna cook? I also bring an adapter. Some camping uh, places only have like RV plug-in thingies. So this is an adapter for the RV electricity plug thing into a regular one and an extension cord just in case your campsite is too far from some electricity and then I bring my kitchen which would be this box and in my kitchen I have wonderful things like coffee cups a French press for coffee These plastic um, Tupperware with a twist on it because our number one breakfast on the road is overnight oats. And if you toss them in the cooler and you don't have something that seals really well, then you're gonna have all the milk spilled over everywhere. So I really like these. And then we eat the overnight oats right out of here. Other than that, for leftover food, I just like using these reusable like Ziploc bags that you can wash and reuse because um, it won't be a hard plastic that you can't squish, right? And if you only fill it half, you're still gonna use all that space in your cooler. But with these, if I put one carrot in there, I can just put the carrot in there, roll it up, and it won't use too much space. So I like these for leftover food. Two little chopping boards um, made out of plastic. It's easier to uh, have them out of plastic on the road. I usually prefer to use wood, but on the road, these are great. 
Um, here's my gas canister for the gas cooker. Sponges, obviously, to wash the dishes. A tablecloth in case the table that you're eating at is gross. <laughs> this is a collapsible, um, oh, what's it called? Drainer. I use this for if I make pasta or uh, anything that needs to be drained and I also use it to wash my vegetables or salad or anything. It's not a salad spinner but I can put um, the salad in here and then put a, a cloth on top and then just shake it and shake up the water. Then we have little plates and big plates for eating. Reusable napkins. Um, it's much easier. We are going camping for three weeks. I'm not taking clothes for three weeks. I'm taking clothes for one week and then I plan on washing, <coughs> sorry, uh, washing our clothes because um, else the car would just be so, so, so full with clothing. And all the campsites tend to have, or not all of them, but many campsites tend to have washing machines that with some coins you can wash your clothes. And that's where we can wash our napkins as well. And that way I don't have to bring all those paper towel rolls that take up so much space. We have two glasses for the kids. So I usually just bring coffee cups for my husband and me because we drink coffee and water and the kids just drink water. So uh, stainless steel water cups. Little bowls, just, you know, for serving or eating something. I bring measuring cups, just three. Uh, one cup, half cup, and quarter cup. I bring one stainless steel pot that has a tight fitting lid to make rice, quinoa, couscous, anything. And also this is the pot that I cook water in to make coffee with my French press. Two bowls um, for salads or anything really. A cloth to dry all my stuff after I washed it. And lastly, a non-stick pan. The pan obviously has to be of a material that works on an induction stove, which this one does, but I like using non-stick for when we travel um, because sometimes you don't know if you'll be able to go somewhere to wash it and really scrub it. So at least with this, if I just pour a little bit of water in it and use um, my sponge, it'll be like clean enough. So for travel, I always use a non-stick, but obviously I use this cloth to protect my non-stick material. And then my pantry basically is this. And things that I tend to take with me right from the beginning is couscous, lots of oats, because I said we're having overnight oats for breakfast pretty much every day. Um, rice. And then I have these. Uh, I love these because they have all clean ingredients and you just mix them with um, a can of coconut milk and, and that's it. And then you have a curry. And I have another little pantry thingy where I bring coffee, avocado oil, salt and pepper, garlic, smoked paprika, Italian seasoning, thyme, and cumin. These are the spices that I use the most and with which I feel I can make pretty much everything I want. And then lastly, the very last thing, obviously, cutlery and all the kinds of cooking things that I need. These clips to be able to close open bags. Spoons. Forks and knives. A vegetable peeler. A little spatula to scrape out anything and everything I need. Scissors. A tiny grater to grate pretty much everything with these holes. They are big enough to grate cheese and small enough to get some uh, lemon zest out. One measuring spoon that has a one tablespoon and half tablespoon on the uh, one tablespoon and half ta teaspoon on the other side because that way I can um, measure one teaspoon or a tablespoon or whatever I need. 
a uh, can opener with a bottle opener at the back, like a very cheap one. Um, I don't like using my proper big one because some cans have a very high lip and then you can't get them open and with these you can open everything. A meat thermometer. This sounds ridiculous and it's maybe overkill but I need it. I just want my meat always to be perfect so I always carry my meat thermometer with me. Some tongs. Uh, I don't know what this is called. What is it called? A, a flipper? A flipper spatula? Something to serve the rice or couscous or anything with. And two knives. A good proper chef's knife and a small paring knife. That's all I need for cooking on the road. And now um, this is basically it. This is everything that I take with me so I can cook healthy meals, um, simple healthy meals on the road, on the campsite. And now if you want to play Tetris with me and figure out how we're gonna fit all of this in the car, then keep watching. If not, then I'll see you with my next video where I show you all the wonderful meals that we prepare while we're traveling. Bye. Okay, so the audio won't be as good anymore. I'm sorry about that, but I'm filming on my phone. It's the only way I can film this part. This is the travel kitchen. This is everything we need so we can sleep at the campsite. And here is what we're going to be wearing. Um, the box with the boys clothes, the box with the girls clothes, the box with the pajamas and everything to keep warm. And then this is everything for the beach, swimming and so on. The scooters, if they fit in the car, we'll take them. If they don't, well, we won't. I want to be able to take out individual things without, without having to take out everything. So if I put the clothes at the back, I don't want to have to take out the cooler and the pantry and everything just to get to the clothes. So I'm going to build like a contraption with this thing. So hopefully I can make it easier to access each individual thing that we need. So my trunk is flat here, but has this elevation, which is kind of annoying. Oh, hello there. So I use some cardboard and cut this out so I can figure out how I have to cut my wood so I can build my contraption. Taking time 